Welcome to Marlin Tech Tips. I'm going to show you on the Marlin rifles that have the semi buckhorn sights how to adjust these sights. And it's a pretty simple operation, just a couple simple tools you're going to need. Some type of a hammer, a ball peen hammer, probably works best. And some type of a non marring punch. I have here a brass punch and a nylon punch, and of course, a good pair of safety glasses. Now, before you begin, you want to make sure the rifle is completely unloaded. And, and in most cases, you're going to, making, going to be making the sight adjustment at the range. So all the more so, you want to double check for live ammunition. So I'm going to open up my loading gate, and I'm going to check my tube for live ammunition. And then I'm going to swing the action open and double check the chamber, physically and visibly, that I have no live ammunition in the rifle. And I'm clear. This is good. You want a good workspace to work in. Um, and there, there's two adjustments you're going to make, elevation and windage. When you make your sight adjustments, all you have to remember is when you're making changes, it's based on your target, where you're hitting. You need to move the sight based on where your rounds are hitting on the target. So it, the simplest way to do it is if your rounds are hitting low, it means you have to bring your group up on the target, which means on the rear sight, you need to bring the sight up. If the group needs to go up, the sight needs to go up. So, and this is pretty simple. On the buckhorn side on the back here, there's a there's a, just a lever in the middle and it's stepped. There's a there's nine different steps on this to raise the rear sight up. So it's just a matter of picking the back of the sight up, sliding this little arm to the rear, and it's gonna lift that rear sight up, and you can adjust your elevation that way. To make windage changes, it's the same rule. If if I if my group is hitting to the left, I need to move the group to the right. I need to move my rear sight to the right. And that's where your, 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 your punch comes into play. So you would, you would take your punch and a hammer and very carefully on the edge of that, you're going to drive that sight across. Very incrementally, very small movement is going to move that quite a bit on your target. Again, it depends on your ammo, depends on your distance, your range that you're shooting. But it, very little movement will, will move that, that grouping quite a bit. So it, it's a pretty simple operation. Just a matter of move the sight in the direction the group needs to go, and you should be all set. And, and you can test fire that again, come back, unload your gun, your gun, double check that it's completely unloaded, make another adjustment, and go from there. A little bit of trial and error, but it, it's a pretty simple process. So thanks for watching this Marlin Tech Tip.